Hi, welcome to the Tracy Trendy Show, my lovelies. Welcome one and welcome all. Oh my goodness, it seems as if Jessica is exposing Maurice's side chick, okay? Now, I haven't been reporting on the story because I, he, Maurice has been cheating for months, months. My goodness. And all Jessica was saying was, no, 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 he's with me. He's been hacked. All right? Now that, you know, the writing's on the wall and she can't lie about it anymore, here is what she comes with, okay? Now that she accepted that there is a side piece, all right? She came to reality. She reveals the side chick, which name is Amanda, was supposed to be married to another man in September. And this is according to um, Amanda's ex-fiance's aunt. Okay, so the man that she was about to marry, his aunt came forward to Jessica. And Jessica posted the receipts, all right? That Amanda was supposed to be married and all of a sudden, not married. So, and there's going to be more tea in here, okay? So there, she's going to be pouring more tea. So let's just read these, these little tweets and posts and everything. And let's just sip, sip away, my lovelies. All right. Oh, let me get these glasses. All right. Okay, here we go. So, all right. I have some information on the bitch, home-wrecking bitch Amanda. That is with your husband. So I guess this is the aunt talking to Jessica. And Jessica says, tell me, and where's the that pic come from? Damn, I can't see the pic anymore. The aunt says, she was supposed to marry my nephew September 25th. And the man, I mean, and Jessica goes, wow. And she, the aunt says, she was with my nephew since last year and all of a sudden up and left. When did she leave? Because she probably left for my dumbass ex, LOS. Yep, dummies too. And this is, of course, Jessica was saying that. From, from what I know, she was in LA July 4th. And then Jessica goes, yep. There was actually a picture of Maurice and um, Amanda's daughter on July 4th. Okay, so this is all when it, but that's before September though. So anyway. Um, anyway, uh, there's more. The aunt says, the ring that she has, my nephew bought that ring. And, and Jessica goes, OMG. And she says, she's married to him. What the F? They're legally married, she says. Now, I don't know how she could be legally married, because they show a picture of Maurice and... Amanda, I'm thinking, I don't know how you could be legally married when you're not legally divorced. I think that somebody, my thinking was that she went to somebody's wedding and just took a picture on that little archway, but that's just my guess. But anyway, the aunt said she had a, uh, she had a bridal shower in May. And Jessica says, he hurt me so bad. And I mean, Jessica, really? You didn't see the other, you didn't care about the other baby mama, his first one. You should have asked her how he was before you started procreating with Maurice and marrying him. But anyway, the aunt says, I gave her $75. My family gave money and gifts, I guess for the upcoming wedding. And then Jessica goes shaking my head. Aunt goes, I'm sure he hurt you and karma will bite him in the ass. L.A. is expensive. She has no credit. So she's saying Amanda has no credit. And Jessica goes, yep. Yeah. And she says she can't get a place in her name. And Jessica goes, neither can he. She's still on a lease in Manteca. They'll never get a place together. LOL, that's Jessica being happy about it. Hotels is it, shaking my head. And they're both having a laugh about it. The aunt goes, she owes like 15000 for the place in Sacramento. And Jessica goes, God damn. And she can't even get a phone in her name without paying a big ass deposit. And LOL, yeah. Well, I guess they'll be living off of her um, 
something, I can't read that, and Social Security. Mind you, my nephew just found out about this today and I took it upon myself to read the blogs and find out who you were just to tell you about who your husband is really messing with. And I don't know why Jessica's saying, oh my God, I just found out today. I mean, you found out months ago, you just refused to face the facts. I mean, when I say months ago, I mean months ago, like February. And that's why I ignored it because I'm like, yeah, whatever. It is what it is. But anyway, she goes, yes. Tell him he can message me too anytime soon. This is the, the nephew. And the aunt goes, she made every excuse in the book as to why she don't want to be with him. That's the nephew. I told him she's messing with somebody else's or she's hoeing either or I'll tell him. And Jessica goes, yup, shaking my head. Did you tell him they got married? Question mark. So what, did Jessica get divorced? Why is she asking, did you tell your nephew, did he, about his fiance marrying Maurice? So she goes, I'll tell him. And Jessica goes, yep, shaking my head. Did you tell, okay, so, oh, did you tell him? And she goes, she was going out of town too much and will be gone for a week or so. I think he knows from the post he sent me. I think she's supposed to be coming out here with your husband to get her furniture, but that's not going to happen. I think they're supposed to be renting a U-Haul. He can't even, um, they were talking about he can't even rent a U-Haul. And they go on and on about what they can't get because of their limited funds. I guess they need to listen to Tracy Finance 101 to get their stuff in order. And Jessica Post, shaking my head, can't even send a damn package of diapers or wipes horrible just horrible i can't hold this stuff in anymore shaking my head well darn it jessica he couldn't afford a wedding you wanted a wedding that was taken away from his first child you think that mom got anything did you kind of compare notes i mean my goodness so anyway jessica goes this shit is just too funny if you believe a word he says you're crazy I save every message, video, voice message, and I will prove everything I say is true about him. So, um, I'm just, oh, there's more people. There's more. Oh, Jessica. Okay, so this, I don't know who she's talking about. So, okay, this is between Jessica and Amanda. Um, I'm going to say this one time and one time only, okay? My husband has tried several times to get his son. This is Amanda speaking. And has always sent money to her for his son's pajamas and diapers. This woman is delusional. And y'all shouldn't believe everything you hear. Seriously, I have offered to take my husband to Vegas to pick his son up. He's not a deadbeat. But she is the bitter baby mama who said he can no longer see his son because he won't be with her. That said, I am the woman who pushes him to be a better man and father, but I can't force her to let him be a father. So for everyone talking bad about us and him, please know what you're talking about first. Here comes Jessica. First of all, Maurice cannot leave the state of California laughing my ass off. So how does that work? that you were gonna take him here. Second, he sent me $30 in a year for my son. I have proof. I've sent him more than he sent me, laughing my ass off. I can show cash app statements. And I said, she cannot take my son for a week and be with someone I don't know and have never met. Who in their right mind will let their child go off with someone they don't know? Jessica has a point. Anyway. I think this is, uh, I don't know who's reading this. Someone says, um, I guess this, oh, this is Jessica talking to Maurice. So she says, it's my fault that you're homeless. And Maurice says, I can't believe you left me because I gained up a bitch that is desperate over me and jealous of you for some dollars so I can have a place to stay and lay my head at night. I guess you'd rather for me to be in jail or my ass starving for food and hygiene, but instead I caked the bitch out for some money, not with my D or balls all 
words and you leave me. That's crazy. Should uh just told me we gonna take a break instead. I told you when we got married, if you be my wife, ain't no bitch gonna come before you. But you ain't listen. Um, so that's Maurice talking. And then um, this is Jessica talking to Amanda. She says, you don't even know what the fuck you're talking about. You haven't been with him in over a year. Now, this is Amanda talking to Jessica. You don't even know what the fuck you're talking about. You haven't been with him in over a year. So why would you send him money? He dumped you in June 2020. You dumbass, and yes, we're going to file for custody because you ain't fit to raise that child. You over here asking people for handouts. You don't cook. You order fast food every night because you're too lazy to get off your fat ass. You don't have pajamas for your kid. Asking for diapers and wipes like you some hoe on Maury. Maybe get a, get a damn and you won't be sitting in front of the TV all day. My husband's working, now taking care of me and his stepdaughter, and soon... His son, damn job, you lazy hoe. If you can order food every night for yourself, then why can't you take care of your kid? And then uh, Jessica goes, wait, who's fat? So anyway, she posts in big font, laughing my ass out. Now they're saying he left me in June of 2020, a month after my son was born. It just keeps getting better and better. Ha, ha, ha. So that is all the, the going on, Jessica, Amanda, and Maurice. Now, she, he did leave you, Jessica, soon after the baby was born. Like, I would say three months or so, because you don't have any pictures of the little baby and Maurice. Only you had the picture when the baby was really small. You don't have pictures of Maurice and his, your child together any recent pictures so it was really quite soon i would think maybe in 2020 early 2021 he spent some time in jail for a little bit he was in a bad way i had did a video on maurice he was a bad way he then he like he was in i don't know what to say but there are stuff posted on his instagram for sale then he winds up in jail and then eventually, I think he might have hooked up with this Amanda chick maybe in March or April. As soon as he got out of jail, I think he found this, this woman, this Amanda. And all that time, Jessica was saying, no, 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 that's his, he's been hacked, he's been hacked. And we've been hearing that hacked stuff for a long time, okay? People just accept the obvious. If somebody's cheating on you, they're cheating on you. It's very rare that anybody would be hacked. Very rare. I mean, that's a high level skill to keep hacking pictures and photographs of people out and about. Okay? Face reality. So Mar Maurice and Amanda were together for a while now. And, and I just see it and it's like, eh, whatever. And, and to me, it's just like, ugh, Jessica, the writing was on the wall, but you, did, you, you didn't even try to talk to his first m mother of his child, the first mother of the child. You didn't. You just decided that everything's going to be different because you're in his life now. Well, guess what? It's not. It's not. Rinse and repeat. And now I guess Amanda thinking everything is different. But anyway, my lovelies, what do you guys think of all of this? What do you guys think? Oh, my gosh. You know what you got to do. You got to hit that notification bell to get that tea pouring through because I know you're subscribed. If you haven't subscribed, what is holding you up? Go ahead and subscribe. Then the notification bell because that's when you're going to get alert to all the tea. Drop a comment because that's where all the action happens in the comments page. All right, my lovelies? And share if you care. All right, I'll see you all on the flip side.